How's it going everyone? This is Carson with CS Coins. Welcome back. Uh, today I got new coins and they are dimes. I'm going to give those a shot again. Those uh, nickels from last time kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. There wasn't a lot to pick through for those. So um, I'm going to see if I can get back on the silver dimes here. I have $165 worth of customer wrap and uh, I'm going to go through them and we'll see if we can pull any silver. I'll let you guys know. I'm going to have a silver on roll 19. This one right here. I'm hoping this one's a little bit older because it seems like lately all I've been finding is 64 and 60s Roosevelt. So I'm hoping we at least break into the 50s with this one. Let's see. So that is going to be a silver Roosevelt. And it's another 64. I can't complain. Still silver. That is my second silver dime of the year. And let's hope I can get a third. I still got some rolls left in here. That's going to do it for all the dime rolls today. Only the one silver, 1964. But I'm still pretty happy with that. I used to go through uh, quite a few $250 dime boxes. And um, I mean, I'd probably find silver like a third of the time, if, if even that. Um, it's not a very common find. So out of $165, I'm pretty happy with one. Um, I've definitely done better, but I've also done worse. So I'm going to probably head out tomorrow and uh, try to get more coins. I'm thinking about doing nickels and dimes if I can. That seems to be the best for silver. Uh, maybe I'll try quarters. We'll see. So I'll see what I can grab tomorrow, and I will be back with you guys soon. What's up, guys? Uh, it's been a while since I've gone and gotten coins. Uh, I've been tied up in my other hobby, ice fishing. Been doing that a whole lot lately. But uh, I did get out today. I got a nice little mixed batch here. I got primarily dime rolls, but I also got $100 in quarters, and I got quite a few penny rolls in there as well, as well as one lone nickel roll. Probably won't get anything with that, but we'll see. So I'm going to get going on these rolls here. I'm going to start with my pennies and work the way up, work my way up, and I will uh, let you guys know if and when I get a find. Got my first find here on my fifth roll of pennies, and I'm going to be on the board with a wheat penny. 1950, 60, just a uh, common 50s date, but uh, I never have done great with wheat pennies and customer wrap rolls, so I'm pretty happy to be on the board. Roll nine of the pennies, I'm going to be on the board with another wheat. This one's a 1956, Philadelphia. Another 56 to add to the keepers, but we'll take it. Roll 11, I'm going to have a couple things here. Uh, this is just a Canadian cent, 2010. Uh, I know they stopped making Lincoln cents uh, in the early 2010s, so uh, I think this is going to be one of the later ones that was minted. I won't keep this, though. I only keep the older Canadian cents. Just something interesting. And then uh, I've got a 2009 uh, commemorative series here. This was one of the ones to commemorate Abe Lincoln. So those are uh, pretty cool to find. They were only minted that one year, so I'll hold on to that one. All right, guys, I'm pretty happy with this one. I'm on roll 13 now, and I've got a 1937D here. We broke into the 30s. Uh, 30s pennies are not always the easiest to find. Usually 40s and 50s is what you'll be finding in the rolls, so I'm always happy to get an earlier one. I'll take that for sure. All right, we've got a couple cool finds here on roll 14. First off, we're going to have a King George Canadian scent. That means it's going to be early 50s or 40s and we got a 49 that's pretty awesome those are not uh too easy to come by being in michigan you know you're gonna find them every now and then but still always a nice coin to find and i'm also gonna have another lincoln commemorative here this is a different reverse style um and i'm always happy to add these ones to my collection so we'll take that on roll 13 of 20, I'm going to have my first silver dime. That nickel roll didn't have anything special. So let's take a look at what we have here. And it is going to be a Roosevelt. I see the D mint mark, so it's silver. Hoping for an older one. It is a little worn. Let's take a look. And we got a 56. Cool. I was getting uh, a little tired of finding the 64s. You know, it's still cool finding silver, but... uh. I find a ton of silver dimes from the 60s, so it's kind of cool to get in the 50s. I'm happy with that. Roll 17 looks like it's going to have another silver. Getting a little excited there. 
But uh, it's this one a little close to the edge, so let's have a look at what we have here. Oh my god, it's going to be a mercury dime. That's awesome, guys. I've only found one of these ever coin roll hunting, and uh, this is going to be number two. Let's see what year we got. I do not see a mint mark, so I think it's going to be a Philadelphia. Let's take a look. And we got a 44. That is the second to last year of the mercury dime. I am very, very happy with that. Uh, <laughs> these are not easy to find. I've found dozens of uh, Roosevelt silver dimes and uh, only one other mercury dime. So that's going to be a nice little addition of the collection for sure. Well, the quarters have been really slow. I'm on roll 8 of 10. No Ws yet. Nothing good. But I finally am going to have a find. And I'm going to be on the board with a Salver Bay DDO. As you can see with the quarter on the right here, you've got much thinner lettering. And God we trust the mint mark uh, quarter dollar pretty much everywhere on the coin. Um, and the one on the left obviously is a lot thicker. So that is going to be a double die. Pretty happy with that. Salt River Bay. That is my first double die of 2022. So I'm very happy to have that in my collection. Um... And I will let you guys know if I get anything else in the other quarter rolls. That is going to do it for today's hunt. And I'm pretty happy with the finds. Uh, besides nickels, we got at least one find for every denomination. So couldn't be happier. We did pretty good here. So with the pennies, I'm going to have two of the commemorative Lincoln cents from 2009. I'm going to have a 56 and a 56D wheat penny. And then I got this wheat penny right here, 37D. That's going to be a bit older. It's in pretty good shape for being that old. Um, it's got some tarnish, but the details are pretty good. Uh, if I was looking at that reverse, I would guess that's a 40s or 50s penny right there. So pretty decent shape. Pretty happy with that. And I got on the board with a King George penny. This one is a 1949. So that's always cool. And I got two silvers. This one I was so happy about. My second Mercury Dime. Uh, this is my second favorite coin design. I'd have to say Walking Liberty is my first favorite. And I still haven't found one of those. But second Mercury Dime. And I've been doing this since last March. So I've been doing it a while. Um, so I'm very happy to get on board with another one of those. Very cool coin right there. And another Roosevelt 5060. More silver for the jar. So I'm happy about that. And lastly, I got on the board with a pretty decent error right here. I'm going to have a Salt River Bay DDO 2020P. So that's a cool uh, error find. I think that's my first error of 2022. Um, I haven't really, I've been targeting silver a little bit more. So happy to get on the board with errors. So thank you everyone for watching. I am going to keep going out there. At this point, I can't really get any boxes. None of the banks around will give me one just because of the coin shortage. I guess it's getting pretty rough with some of my banks around here. But they are happy to give me all these customer wrap coins. And I really can't find much silver in the boxes with the dimes at least. So I think I'm going to keep going with this. Uh, I love finding silver dimes. So I'm going to keep at it, I think. So be on the lookout for another video, and if you enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.